Just wanted to do a quick screencast to show a cool trick I learned the other day. If you have a numbered list or a bullet pointed list or something like that in LibreOffice, then there's a very easy way to move stuff around up and down without having to do anything by hand. I've highlighted the line that I'm going to move in red font and put it in English instead of Latin so that you can see it easier. Now once you're inside one of these lists, there's a a toolbar, I guess you call it, that goes down across the bottom. It says move up or move down. So you can click on the arrow. I just moved it down and watch it move again. Now it automatically renumbers it to the next number. And you can move it back up or whatever you want to. Here's another one where I've got columns here. Um, one numbering level at the numerals with the little lines in front and then the second level numbering over here in the <coughs> A, B, C, D, E, and so forth. So I can move this one up and down. This is a, a dummy test here, so I, it's like a matching section on a test. So I can move over here and move the B up and down. So now it's C and D and so forth. Now what's really cool and is very, very handy is that if you've got sub points, you can also move those all at the same time. So I've just been doing the move up or move down, there are these other buttons right next to it that says move up or down with sub points. So watch what happens when I click this one. The, the whole thing moves up to number 13. If I click it again, it goes up to number 12. And of course you can move stuff around in the lower level too. Here's one where I've got just the B highlight, so I can move this one up or down here. So you can move stuff all around. Uh, up and down with sub points. It's very, very handy if you have to, like I do, um, reformat exams to make form B and C and so forth. Um, sadly, it does not work quite like this in the Impress application. Like when you have um, layers of bullet points in your slides, you can only move things one at a time. So you could take like this one and move it down and you'd have to go move the other things manually. They don't have a move up and down with sub points yet in Impress, but at least they've got it here. It's a pretty cool trick.